When was the decision made to construct a new building and have it be a green building? Uh, the project started in late 2010. Um, I, from a from a Grinfoss perspective, if we we do if we were to build our own building, we would uh, follow the Leeds Green Building Standard. Um, so in this case, it was with Growth Point, but it was from day one that that, that the intent was: if we build a building, it must achieve a Green Building Standard. Okay. How long did construction take, and what was the cost of the building? Well, the total project uh, was just under just over 100 million rand. Um, of course, that's including the land, um, the the building construction part was around about 80 million uh, and it started in May 2012. Can you briefly explain the green technologies? Yeah, I think there, there, there are a number of technologies uh, in the building itself uh, from the materials that are used in the actual construction process, uh, the paint, uh, the carpets, the partitioning, the, the, the ceiling etc. So the material itself uh, had to comply to, to uh, Green Building Council standards, that's, that's the first thing. Um, from an energy perspective, and that's, uh, that's the most sort of obvious uh, one, the pump technology that we u utilize in the building is, is uh, premium efficiency motors, uh, and uh, where relevant it's premium efficiency uh, with VFD drives, uh, combined again with the renewable energy, so the wind turbines uh, powering up uh, the, the main grid of the building, uh, and the solar uh, modules powering up the solar SQFlex uh, borehole pump. Uh, in addition to that, uh, of course, the glazing of the building um, is a, is a single, uh, single glaze, it's not a double glazing, um, but it conforms to, to the requirements in terms of the, the green building requirement with respect to uh, thermal and uh, lighting as well. You mentioned that the reason for the construction of this building was because of the warehouse. Could you just go into a little bit of detail, just the size of the warehouse, um, you know, how much easier it is now that you guys have this big... Yeah. Uh, space. Yeah. Um, the warehouse designed uh, is, is just over 6,000 square meters, around about 6,200 odd. Um, as I said, the, the, the driver behind the project was uh, that we, at the time, we were on four sites uh, in, in the Greater Gauteng, one in Pretoria, uh, two out in Industrial uh, Jet Park, and of course our, our office across the road, uh, which had a small uh, warehousing facility, I, th I think around about 1,500 square meters local. Uh, what it meant is that uh, we obviously were incurring huge travelling and diesel costs with our vehicles uh, tra driving up and down. Uh, we had a lot of duplication of, of, of costs uh, and with that then a lot of inefficiencies. So having the, first of all having the space and a clean slate uh, to, to design around service, logistics and uh, local assembly, uh, the 6,200 square metres allowed us to, to bring professionals in from, from the group and working with local uh, logistics professionals to actually design uh, a facility that flows uh, efficiently um, and that ultimately translates into better service for our, our partners. It has the capacity to take on another 2,000 square metres should we want it at the back of the facility. What makes the building unique? Uh, what makes this particular building unique, first of all of course the site is phenomenal. Uh, at the interchange from Galudis going to the airport, the, the, the N12 intersection, uh, it's one of the busiest intersections uh, in South Africa, Southern Africa probably on, on the continent in terms of vehicle flow. So we, we, we recognize that by building a building that, that, that uh, represented our brand in terms of energy efficient uh, solutions um, would not only bring exposure to the brand but it would be a kind of a, a statement of intent if you want in, in the market. So the building is unique first of all because of the site. Uh, what makes the actual construction, of course, is that it's the first industrial grade building in South Africa to receive a five star rating. That really puts us, uh, puts the building in front of its peers, but by doing that it, it, it puts Grunfoss as a leader in front of its peers because we are uh, an industrial company uh, that uh, has built its business around energy efficient solutions, um, our focus of course on water and energy, uh, and then by having, the, uh, by having our own home uh, representing that, it, it's really what we call taking our own medicine.